In this video, we will learn all about broken line graphs. Broken line graphs are one way to show the relationship between two variables. Broken line graphs are most often used to show a change in something over time, like a change in distance over time or a change in temperature over time. When you're making a broken line graph, you'll have specific points that you know and you can plot, and then you'll connect those with lines. Because you are connecting the points with lines, it really only makes sense to make broken line graphs for continuous variables that exist everywhere between specific points. So let's look at an example. So this table shows time in days and the temperature at that time or at that day. So let's try to make a broken line graph from this data. The first thing that you want to do is set up your axes and we really only need to worry about the first quadrant because both sets or both variables have only positive values. We'll have time is our independent variable. Anytime you have time, that's always the independent variable and temperature will be our dependent variable, so it's on the y-axis. Then I can label in uh, my x-axis and also my y-axis. Now I'm going to plot the points that I was given. So at zero days, the temperature was 60, so my first point will be right here. At 10 days, the temperature was 70, so I'm going to find 70. At 30 days, the temperature was 90, and I plot that point. 40 days, the temperature was 60, and 60 days, the temperature was 40. So now I have all these specific points, and I know that there was a temperature between day zero and day 10. I just didn't collect any data on that, but it did exist, so I'm just going to connect those two points with a line. That doesn't mean that at day five, it was exactly 65 degrees. We actually don't know that at all. But by connecting the points, it does let us sort of see more easily the trend over time of what happened. So we'll keep connecting the points with straight lines. So you connect every two points with a straight line. And with this broken line graph, I can make a general conclusion that over time, the temperature increased and then started decreasing. So I would predict maybe it would continue decreasing as time went on. Usually with broken line graphs, you'll be given the graph and you'll have to interpret something based on it. So you'll have to figure out how long did it take for something to happen or how much distance was traveled or what was the change in temperature from a certain time to a certain time. You have to analyze the graph. 